Hi, welcome to um, another Mechanics 3 video. This time we're looking at variable forces, so where we have force here as a function of time. Now the main implication there is that in F equals MA, A is not constant, A is a function of time. So if we substitute that in here, so F equals MA, rearrange and integrate both sides, we have this, that MV is the integral of the forces function of time with respect to T. Also, if force is a function of time, we can find the impulse given to an object by integrating that force between the two times that it is um, exerting itself on that object for. Okay, let's look at an example for this. When force is a function of time, you've got a mass initially at rest subjected to a force where F is 2t cubed. Find its speed when t equals 1. So, F is 2t cubed, F equals ma, so ma is 2t cubed, m dv by dt, because a is not constant, it's a function of time, is 2t cubed. Rearrange that and integrate both sides to get 5v is this. Initial conditions tell us t is naught, v is naught, and therefore from this equation here, c is naught. So v is t to the power of 4 divided by 10. When t is 1, that gives us a velocity of 0 0.1 meters per second. Right, impulse and momentum. So, example here, we have a force of 5 plus 2t newtons, um, a mass of 0 0.4. Initial conditions when t is naught, p is 7 meters per second. Calculate magnitude of the impulse given between t is naught and t is 4. Okay, so impulse is the integral of the, oh, that should be f of t there, the integral of the force as a function of time with respect to t between the two times it's acting on the object 4. So we look at that here and we get an impulse of 36 newtons per second. Impulse is changing momentum as we've seen in mechanics 2. So using that we get velocity as 97 meters per second. Okay, now let's look at the second situation. We now have force as a function of displacement. So before it's a function of time, in this scenario is function of displacement. Now, uh, from chapter 1 we know that a is a half, is d by dx of a half v squared. So using f equals ma with that, we're then looking at rearranging and getting this lovely equation here. So the integral of the force as a function of displacement with respect to x is equal to a half mv squared work done as a function of the displacement is simply moving it from x to x1 to x2 integral of that force with respect to x. Okay, and a lovely example. A particle mass 0.2 kilograms at rest smooth horizontal surface initially at rest horizontal force of this magnitude um, acts on the particle as the speed of the particle when x equals 5. So here's our force. <coughs> Excuse me. Half mv squared is the integral of that force with respect to x. So we integrate that, use initial conditions, and we get c is 0. So our equation is a half mv squared equals the integral of the force with respect to x. When x is 5, put that in and rearrange the equation and we get the velocity as 22.7 meters per second. Okay, as always, thank you for listening.